Cliff's last five games, what level he's playing at right now? He's playing at elite level, um, and that can't be debated. I'm, I'm ecstatic for him because the fact is he's an incredible uh, man, uh, and he's playing healthy for the first time in a long time, and people are developing an appreciation. And this is no, this does not have to do with the person, but when a guy's been as injured as Steph has been the last two years, is it hard for you as a coach to kind of go forward with that player? Not at all. The reason why is because it was always a freak injury. It wasn't um, something where you look at, where people looked at from the outside and said, oh, there he goes again, stepping on a guy's foot or something like that. It was always a freak injury. And the guy always wanted to come back early because he's that type of player and that type of person. I think over the course of the summer, for the first time in a long time, he got healthy. And uh, he's having an incredible year. Is there anything beyond health? for reasons that Steph's played this year? Um, no. I'm not going to say coach. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's flat, it's flat out. It's his talent level. Uh, I watched him as a young kid. I watched him in college, and I knew he'd be you know, a big-time, legit talent. And it's great to see him healthy because he, he certainly is uh, doing that. Coach, okay, that's early, but do you think it's all-star level? No, I, I don't think it. I know it. I've seen the, you know, the best in the league, and there's some, some awfully good point guards in this league. But when you look at his body of work and what the, the fashion that he's leading this basketball team, it certainly is.